Hello and welcome. Thanks for tuning in to Disembodied Screams, Horror That Lives in Your Soul. This episode, diving into the movie in a violent nature, now streaming on Shudder as of September 2024. There will be spoilers, so FYI, in case you haven't seen it, you might want to see the movie first and then come back and listen to what I have to say about it. With all that said, let's get started. Highlights. Gore. Amazing. There was one kill in this movie that I've never seen in a movie before. Not sure how it all worked, but it was gruesome, and it was bloody, and it was unique. And if you like gore, you should see this movie for that kill alone. I can't explain it in a way that will visually recreate it for you. Just have to see it to believe it. Always surprised and a notch, a notch, disturbed when I see something original like that. Direction. This was the true star of the movie. Loved every angle, every shot, every single way. This movie moved forward from the first shot to the last. Loved how they followed the killer the whole time and never really wavered from that perspective until like the very, very end. But I think they did that in order to follow the final girl. So to change things up a little bit, it was a really a great spin on the very tried and true and, uh, very well done formula throughout the years. Effects, great, very believable. And acting was sparse, but there was some, and it was effective when it was needed. Sound, I can't say this enough about the sound. Use headphones to truly immerse yourself in the ambient sounds. They worked overtime to get the sound right for this movie, so much so that it sounded like the forest was all around me while using headphones. I could hear every step, every crunch, every grunt, every move. Every single sound was perfectly set in this movie. I mean, it sounded like it was just wrapping around my head at times. It was really, really cool. All in all, this is a great movie, one of the best in the slasher genre that I have seen recently and in my lifetime, and one that I can easily recommend and will watch again. Really, really enjoyed it. Now, that haiku. And that's it. Subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching and for being awesome people. Have you seen In a Violent Nature? Better than you thought it would be? Worse than you thought it would be? Was it boring? I've heard some people say it was boring following the killer the whole time. I didn't think so. I thought it was unique and different and really liked a new spin on the slasher genre, which has been done in the same way for a very, very long time. Drop your comments below and let me know what your thoughts were on In a Violent Nature. Early releases will now be on my Patreon page. If you enjoy what I'm doing here, swing over there and check out the Patreon page for early releases. I don't think all my episodes will be on there, but most of my episodes will be on there. And if the channel gets uh, popular and the Patreon page gets popular, I will make sure every episode goes on there. Right now, it's more of an experiment. Check the link in the links, and uh, that's where you'll see my Patreon page. It's called Patreon Avail, which is to take on the song Margaritaville because my Jimmy Buffett podcast episodes are dropping early on there too. All right, that's it. Have a good one and uh, take care.